week, the date of my new documentary was released. Put it in your diaries, 13th of September. It is a Tuesday night, 8 p.m. It's called Haters Online, Erin Mullen Fights Back. And it will blow your mind, just like putting it together has blown mine. I thought I knew the online world and the dangers it posed. After a decade of being subjected to some of the most vile abuse, threats and bullying imaginable, I assumed I'd seen it all. They threatened to rape my unborn child, wrote in detail how they'd torture and kill me, promised that for the crime of daring to be a woman who sat on a desk and talked about rugby league, that I'd burn in hell and get there early. I've been to hell and I didn't have to die to get there. It didn't just stay online either. Some of them showed up in person, to my workplace, to my home. When I was heavily pregnant, when I was with my baby girl, when I was alone. I used to get told to just ignore it, toughen up, don't read it, sticks and stones, you get the gist. But then, and it happened suddenly and without warning, I decided that I'd had enough. I made a decision to fight and push for new laws to ensure my daughter, your children, your grandkids would never have to endure what I did. And believe you me, I'm not alone in what I've gone through, unfortunately, not even close. I genuinely wish that I was. They photoshopped my face uh, onto a game of whack-a-mole and put crosshairs over, over my face, and it, so I was a target. Did it make you feel threatened? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it was, yes. Yeah, it, it was, exactly. And what happens in, in the brain when, when somebody's, you know, saying awful things and you're feeling like a target, you're feeling like these people are, you know, out to destroy you, and they say things like that, you know, we'll never stop. It destroyed every aspect of my life. And reading through and not reading through because... I was a sucker for punishment or I wanted to read nasty things reading through because I needed to be aware exactly. there were so many threats. Mm. And I just remember looking at her little eyes, looking up at me, and I would, just had tears streaming down and it still makes me very emotional because mm. the impact it had on her and the fact that I wasn't a present mother for a lot of that time yeah. because I was so badly affected by this. Did, did you feel that too with oh, your kids? Oh, yes. <laughs> You have to be extremely resilient for that kind of behaviour online to not affect you in some way. When things are published online, it destroys av every aspect of your life, your employment, your relationships, your friendships. And frankly, I think it's important that people understand that online abuse, again, the targets of online abuse are victims. Um, this is a very real thing in our society that has real implications for people's real lives. You can't just close your computer and and turn off the fear, fears that you feel when you're walking down the street when you've been the subject of a, a, a vitriol campaign like this. Now, this documentary will expose who the perpetrators are, the vile cowards ruining lives. And the stereotype of trolls being losers in their mum's basement is far from the truth. And if you think what's happening now is bad, wait until you see what's coming next. It made me sick. World first legislation passed through Parliament last year and for that we should all be immensely proud. This is such a high priority for us. It's a high priority because we care about the mental health of our kids. We care about the quality of our society and the way that people deal with each other in a kind way to ensure that we can make our country stronger. Thanks also to Erin for being here today. She's been a real champion of this issue. She's um, used her own experiences, I think, to be a great advocate. Yeah, a lot of people fought very hard for that. Now, this country is leading the way in online safety. But like anything, if we drop the ball for even a second, we will get left behind. Complacency in this cyberspace kills. The stories brave victims have shared with me will scare you, break your heart even, but they will save lives. It's raw and confronting, but it is must-watch TV, as, of course, is tonight. So let's get on with Erin. And as always, love to know your thoughts, so send me an email, erin at skynews.com.au.